This is the Samsung Galaxy A25 and here is the Galaxy A34. Both devices are priced at $240 or 290,000 Naira for the same configuration right now, which is 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. But which is the one to buy? Let me help you find out and so without taking much of your time, yo guys, let's get started. All right, let's talk about the design and build. These are 5G wonders and honestly, they could have been twins separated at birth. Throw them on the table and take a quick peek and you might need a second look to really differentiate these two devices, especially when they rock the same colors. The Galaxy A25 proudly boasts of a headphone port, while you don't get that from the Galaxy A34 here. The A34 speaker's opening at the bottom is more like a fancy grille, while that on the A25 is a flat opening. You get a SIM tray at the left side of the A25 but at the top of the A34. Now you have a hybrid SIM for both of these devices. Also looking at the front side of these smartphones, you'd notice that this one, the A25, has larger bezels. And where the Galaxy A34 also flexes its muzzles is the Gorilla Glass protection you get for this display here. And you also have an IP67 rating for water resistance on the Galaxy A34. And that actually makes this device the Aquaman of smartphones. Now still on design, both of these smartphones stick with the family look. You know that Samsung family look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So the battle for build quality here, I'd give it to the Galaxy A34, the Gorilla Glass protection and the water resistance here, it does it for me. The A25 on the other hand might not have those bragging rights, but it does keep the party alive with the trusty headphone jack. The Samsung Galaxy A34 went all high tech with this under display fingerprint scanner, while the Galaxy A25 here kept things, you know, old school with a side mounted fingerprint scanner here. Of course, the side mounted one is the faster one of the two, but this one is sleek and futuristic. They both come rocking a stereo speaker configuration or setup, but when it comes to making noise, the Galaxy A25 takes the cake. Crank up the volumes on these devices and you notice that it's clearer listening to audio with the Galaxy A25, especially the bass and highs are really clear or clearer at the maximum volume than what you get from the Galaxy A34. Now for the displays, both the Galaxy A25 and the Galaxy A34 have this speed demons here, which is the 120 Hz refresh rate. And both of them are Super AMOLED displays that shine bright at a thousand nits of brightness, making them very usable outdoors. Display size isn't that much different with these devices, as the Galaxy A34 here comes with a 6.6 .6 inch display, while the sibling, the Galaxy A25, keeps it, you know, a tad smaller with a 6.5 inch display. While watching videos on YouTube, you can get up to 4K in resolution on the Galaxy A34, while the Galaxy A25 here gives you a maximum of 1080p. Even when these devices are set at the same resolution, the Galaxy A34's display steals the spotlight. It's sharper and more vibrant. And oh, did I mention you have a Gorilla Glass protection here? Oh, I did. You get the better display with the Galaxy A34. All right, let's talk about the powerhouse under the hood. That's what makes this device run, the chipset or the processor. On here, you get a Dimensity 1080 on the A34, and you also get the Exynos 1280 on the Samsung Galaxy A25. But what I did notice was, apps tend to run or launch faster on the Galaxy A34, and also, Talk about boot up times. Yes, I checked those two. The Galaxy A34 seems to have mastered the art of getting out of bed faster than its sibling, the Galaxy A25. Now, when it comes to software, the Samsung Galaxy A34 comes out of the box with Android 13 and One UI 5.1. But mine here has been upgraded to Android 14 and One UI 6.0. And on the Samsung Galaxy A25, you're getting Android 14 out of the box with One UI 6.0. Both have support for four years major updates or OS updates with these devices, meaning the Samsung Galaxy A25 would go one more year into the future than the Galaxy A34. Now I threw the smartphones into the benchmark ring and things got interesting. The Samsung Galaxy A25 flexes muzzles on Anti-2 and 3D Mark, claiming the higher score like a champ. However, when Geekbench 6 stepped into the arena, the Galaxy A34 took the lead. But here's the deal. Real life is the ultimate test, right? In my day-to-day -day adventures with these gadgets, the Galaxy A34 just felt smoother, snappier, and more on top of its game than what we got from the Galaxy A25. All right, let's dive into the camera showdown with these devices. So on the Galaxy A25, you've got this hefty 50 megapixel main sensor, an 8 megapixel ultra wide for those, you know, group shots, and a 2 megapixel macro lens to get up close and personal with tiny subjects. Meanwhile, the Galaxy A34 has a slightly lower 48 megapixel main lens, an 8 megapixel ultra wide for your broader perspective, and a 5 megapixel macro lens. Oh, let's not forget the 13 megapixel sensors you get for the front facing cameras 
on the smartphones. When it comes to photos, the A25 and the A34 here serve up pictures with good dynamic range, solid contrast and vibrant colors. I found myself caught up in a photo thug of war. But more often than not, the Galaxy A25 stole the spotlight. It seemed to make everything a little bit livelier and more vibrant. Now let's talk about the videos on here. The Galaxy A34 flexes its muzzles with 4K recording of videos. Front-facing videos on the A25 were livelier and more colorful, while the A34's colors appear to be a little bit watered. But other than that, these recordings were eerily similar, but you get an extra splash of color with the Galaxy A25, just like in the photos. For me, the Galaxy A34's main thing is its 4K recordings for the videos. The Galaxy A25 has a lot going on for an out-of-the-box experience. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section about these cameras, and do not forget to subscribe while at that. Now batteries. Both the Galaxy A25 and the A34 from last year are packing a robust 5000mAh battery. That's a whole lot of power to keep you scrolling through Instagram Reels and TikToks. These devices come prepared with a 25W charging system. You need a quick power boost before you dash out the door, these devices have got you covered. So when it comes to battery showdown, it's a tie for me. You can't go wrong with any of these smartphones. The Galaxy A34 here retails for $240 or 290,000 Naira. And that's for the 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. And that's the same thing you should expect from the Galaxy A25 for the same configuration. So, if you have to decide which to pick between these smartphones, it's not a clear choice. The Samsung Galaxy A34 seems to be a better device in some aspects, but the Galaxy A25 actually does beat it in other aspects. So, here's my take. If you already own the Galaxy A34, there's no reason whatsoever to go get the Galaxy A25. But if you want to pick between these two devices like a fresh user, then the Galaxy A25 is the device to go with. You have better colors for the camera, slightly better sounding speakers, a close enough performance between these two smartphones, and an extra year of updating to the future. You can check out my reviews on these two smartphones here. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comment section about this comparison, which would be your favorite here. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Kawi that day.